Arizona heads to Washington on Saturday evening. And Washington is currently a 14-and-a-half point favorite. Total sits at 73. That's right. It opened at 71 at some places, 71-and-a-half at BetUS. It's all the way up to 73 now, 5.30 p.m. Eastern time on the Pac-12 Network. Going to pull up the numbers here while I read off the trends. Arizona is 0-5 against the spread their last five trips to Seattle. Arizona 1-4 and four against the spread against winning teams. They are 9-25 and 25 against the spread in their last 34 road games. Things have not gone well. This is a better team this year, uh, but still got some issues on defense. Uh, still not covering well against winning teams. I mean, we saw that against Oregon last week. Washington 4-0 and against the spread at home. They are 1-4 and four against the spread against Pac-12 competition. So let's uh, let's dive into the numbers. Let's see what this thing says. Uh, Washington minus 18.59. As I said, don't pay attention to that projected total. I need to work on the formula. But as far as the spread goes, the spread is what you need to focus on here. Um, the, air, the defense for Arizona is just atrocious. Uh, Washington should be able to take advantage of just about anything that they want to. Washington not super explosive on as far as passing the football. But man... Uh, and that's one thing that Arizona does defend well is, you know, it passing explosiveness. But here's the deal. You don't have to go for deep shots against this defense because if you look at it, one, Arizona cannot create havoc. They're number 122 at doing that. Washington is number five on offense. I mean, just ridiculous. Washington is number nine as far as passing success rate. Arizona's defense is number 122. Uh, when you just look over at overall efficiency, PPA per pass, Washington number 22, Arizona number 112. When you look at running the football, Washington, who doesn't do it that often, they only run the ball like 39% of the time, they're still number 27 in PPA per rush, number 41 in rushing success rate. Uh, Arizona is bottom five in the country in both of those on defense. They are not great at stopping that. As far as the offense goes, yeah, Arizona's got a chance to maybe stay in this game somewhat because they are able to throw the football. They throw it at a 50, uh, 57% clip, and when you look at the stats, I mean, number 28 PPA per pass, number 14 passing success rate, Washington's defense is really bad, and part of that has to do with some cornerbacks being dinged up, et cetera. The other part of this is they're just not good at it, right? And so so I'm, I'm curious to see which way we go on this. Um, the turnover margin certainly – leans towards Washington. Um, look at penalties per game. That tends to lean more towards Arizona. And so the intangibles, uh, those seem to lean more to Washington here. My number says closer to uh, closer to 19, like 18 and a half. This thing's only 14 and a half. Yeah, give me Washington. Give me, give me the Huskies at home to cover the 14 and a half. Uh, I think that they will be able to do some pretty big things against that Arizona defense, and I think they can do it more consistently than the Arizona offense will be able to as well. Thanks for listening to Winning Cures Everything. Make sure and subscribe on YouTube or your favorite podcast app, and make sure to leave a nice five-star review. You can follow Gary on Twitter, at GaryWCE, and the show is at Winning Cures. Be sure to check out the merch in our web store and share the show.